today out here in the tidal mud flats, I found a little line shore crab, genus Pachygrapsis. And something really cool that I don't think a lot of people know about crabs is that they actually have tails. Let's check them out. So I gently turned over my Pachygrapsis crab and you can see the little tail indent on the bottom there. It looks kind of like a little lighthouse, which tells me that this is a male crab. A female crab would have kind of a paddle-shaped tail that would grow, go across her entire abdomen there on the bottom. Let's go see what that looks like. So I've found a female here, and you can see that her tail extends over her entire abdomen, kind of in a paddle shape, like I said. So that's how you can tell the males from the females. But why do the females have that kind of paddle-shaped tail instead of a smaller one? Well, let's check out another female Pachygrapsis that I found to find out why. So you can see here, this is her belly. My thumb is gently, gently resting on her tail. And all of that kind of globular, blackish, brownish stuff are her eggs, which she's attached to her tail so that she can carry them around with her, kind of like a nice portable uh, nest. I think of it as those little baby backpacks that people carry, but she's got like thousands in there. And so I'm going to put her back in the water here. Good luck.